Back to the Talos Principle. I'm Dark Lord Kaiser. Let's do some stuff. So, uh, let's go back into here for a bit because I've done a little bit of exploring outside of the games, as I thought it might be wise to do. I thought I'd try and find a couple more of these stars, and I found them. So, the logic to finding these stars is a combination of actual logic puzzles and hide and seek. Which let's see, uh let's try and wear the Yes, so the the hidden star in the first level is in here. Okay? This is a gate, there is no obvious mechanism to make the gate move because it turns out if you go over into this corner over here, there's a switch corner you can't even see particularly well because they've hidden it behind a bush as well but yeah apparently if you explore the arse end of nowhere you'll find a switch which will then open this gate that's just getting to the starting point of the puzzle because it's also behind a force field well most of the other puzzles have jammers next to them this one bloody doesn't see nothing all around here not even a hidden QR code saying, hmm, where have I seen a jammer before? Turns out, and this is one of those bizarre things where in my explorations I managed to solve the solution before even recognising what the puzzle was, because I assumed that I'd, uh, I was just exploring and discovered that uh, if I went back here I could figure out a way of getting a jammer all the way up there. So I thought, oh, maybe I can jam something through another puzzle that will give me a jammer back in that puzzle that I'll then need to use. Let's jam that for a minute. So, I can't remember how I did it. Ah, no, I need to use... Yeah, I use this to get this. Use that to jam there, so I can get this back. So I can jam that, so I can take this, so I then I now free run off with this jam. But no, I went all the way back to the start using this uh, one of these jammers through the uh, one of those purple barriers to stop a force field. So I could go back to the beginning to see if it was one of those things where they didn't expect you to look like directly behind the uh, one of the first puzzles or something. But no, yeah, so. Essentially, I was running around with this jammer, going, well, which puzzles can I actually affect from the outside? Do you get to hear? But I can't go in here with the jammer. But I was going, well, I can I can jam that from all the way over here. Maybe that means that that frees that jammer up over there, so I can do something in this puzzle to find it. No. No, I had to find a switch hidden all the way over there, so that I could use this jammer to get this done. So that makes this world one 100% completed, as far as I'm aware, unless there's a, another secret hidden somewhere in it that it doesn't even bother telling you about. Um, full disclosure, I spent another half hour looking around trying to find that thing, and did eventually look up a walkthrough, not to find the solution, just to find out where the puzzle was in the first place. So if you wish to judge me for that, you're welcome to. but. I am Dark Lord Kaiser, so I will judge you hard and back. A little sip of me drinky. Nice. So, in... Oh, no, no. You don't teleport me straight back again, you bloody machine. Right. So, in a previous uh, video, I can't quite remember which one, I came running along here and I went, oh look, a gate, a gate I can't use. Hmm, I wonder what I must do to find here. So I assumed that somewhere outside all of these puzzles there would be a set of keys. You know, I'd, I'd follow that invisible, that, um, not invisible, <laughs> that uh, robot ghost we saw running around and that was somehow 
you know, lead me to a place where the keys were. No, it's a uh, not suicide mission. Now it turns out that in one of these puzzles, he says, oh, that's not a puzzle. <laughs> He says, not being able to find the puzzle. In one of these puzzles, there is... Gas must be crazy. Here we go. Uh, I think you'll remember this area, as I died a lot here. Let's not die again. Okay, so... From what I can tell... That's the exit over there, yeah. When I completed this puzzle, it opened that gate there. But it looks like... It opened a second gate uh, somewhere, which I'll get to. The opening of that second gate is here. Was something is this guy? Sound like that guy was a lot closer than he was to the there. Uh, yeah. So when I complete the puzzle, I'm over there. Complete the puzzle. It opens the gate to the exit. Apparently, it looks like it's also opened this gate here. At least I'm assuming, just by the way this thing uh, is set up, looks a lot like what I've done before. But of course, I've got no reason to come back to this area because I've completed the puzzle already. But if I go all the way around here, there's a ladder which will then just drop me off uh, outside the puzzle area. So I've got some keys that are just here because. Now, if I go back through the puzzle area and go through that purple barrier, I lose those keys. Hence the reason they had to put this ladder over here so you can get back out. There we go. So now I have keys to get through that gate. Here's the thing, though, viewers. Where did I put the gate? I've lost it. The gate is gone. No, it's not done that. Okay. Here's the thing. This gate is not where the star is. This gate doesn't have much over here. I've actually been into this area and I just... Uh... There it is. That's what, that's what this gate does. This gate was hiding a jammer. So, yeah, that still isn't the star. That's just the prerequisite to being able to get to the star, which is here. Again, just sat in the middle of nowhere, but it did you to complete a puzzle, for some reason go back into that puzzle, find a gate that didn't even look like it could open, uh, to find a set of keys and a ladder to get into a locked area to get a jammer to get a star. Yay, I can be Banksy again! I'm not easily distracted, you're easily distracted. So let's see. I think it was. What do you say? No, I don't care about you. I'm going to put one over there. Yeah. This is the guy that's crazy. I can take my paint pot in here, so let's paint a message here. And it's this one. Hmm. I kind of wish there was a little bit more variance in the, uh, the messages I could write. Though I'm guessing that my actions affect what I can write. So, if I hadn't gone into the tower, presumably this one wouldn't uh, be here. Anyway, not important. Now I'm going to go back to that star and write my message next to that. Because I, I generally don't know what the point of writing the messages is. I mean, as far as I'm aware, there's no multiplayer aspect to this. This ain't Dark Souls. I'm going to put this here. You'll be needing a special device to solve this one. Because I'm willing to if I put the jammer somewhere else. Yep. I have specifically put it in a place that you'd need the machine to find the message saying you need a machine. Yep. That's the uh, same sort of logic that I think some of the developers must have been using for this. Okay, go. So... I'll be honest, they're the only two stars I've been looking for so far because, yeah, it's a little convoluted finding these things. So I wasn't overly uh, enamoured with the prospect of having to do that more. However, I did also find where the stars go. This gate over here with a star on it. 
takes you to another gate with a star on it, but this one requires puzzle pieces. When you look at these, as you can see, the stars turn into the puzzle pieces. So I'm halfway to be able to go into here. Now, when I came into this bit, Elohim said something along the lines of... Um, there are more secrets than I have explicitly told you. You will need to find more secrets to enter the... I think he called it the Hall of Messengers. No, I don't think I get a list of uh, the things Elohim says. But yeah, basically it was saying, find secrets to secret. But if I recall correctly, this is how you get to the areas that um, give you the puzzles that you need to solve to get hints to solve puzzles. That's that's absolutely absurd. You need to find find secret puzzles and solve secret puzzles so you can get to an area to solve another secret puzzle to get a hint to solve puzzles in the first place. So either I'm supposed to be storing the easier things up for the last stretch, which is going to be apocalyptically difficult, or someone somewhere wasn't taking their medication and they designed that. Right, do I go back to the other area? Now I'm here, I may as well do a couple of... Uh, Puzzles here, so number four is completely done, number two is completely done, number one is completely done, number three, another star to find, I guess that's my homework. Number five, another star, number six. Two puzzles left in six, and all of the puzzles left in seven. So yeah, let's go into six, get that area out of the way. Right, so zigzaggy piece in every block. Oh, right. Zigzaggy piece. Mobile mind beep. I hear a beep boop. Is there are beep boops inside the puzzles? No, that sounds. I think I might be up there. Uh, curious and curious. I need to get into that area over there somehow. How does one get into that area over there? Hmm. I might look into that. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Wait. Where should Rico go? I'll just get back, damn it. Now, where are you, you little cubic bastard? There you go. Okay, so I'm guessing, and this is purely a guess, that somewhere over here, here, here. Well, I found a secret star, which wasn't what I was looking for, but I'll take it. Bam. I didn't even know about that one. Here is what I was looking for. I have the beat boot. Okay, classical philosophers and progress. Well, I'm not really making in-game progress, but I am sort of progressing on the secrets. So let's do classical philosophy. The compressed file cannot be accessed. Thanks. I am overjoyed with this reward you have given me for my efforts, game. Cheers, I uh... <clears throat> not irritated at all. Progress. Let's see what this one says. Oh, it's an email. Hi all. As per the last meeting, we're going with an existing game engine for the simulation. This gives us a whole slew of advantages. A whole slew, not skew. A whole slew of advantages, including beef and grain. Uh, stability, ease of use. Modular, easy to integrate. Large amount of pre-existing assets. Inherently aimed at testing users. Designed for iterative processes. After some back and forth, we decided to use the. Do -do 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 -do. All the relevant documents are attached. You know, that list of uh, advantages seems... Yeah, that sounds like the kind of... Uh, kind of arguments that tend to get used by what Jim Sterling would refer to as... Asset flippers. Oh, there's a lot to get back. If you're unfamiliar with that term, that is the term that uh, 
as I said, is popularised by Jim fucking Sterling's son of the Jimquisition. Uh, it is a term he uses to refer to people who go onto um, asset stores, be it uh, Unity or uh, Game Maker or anything of the like, and just pre-purchase... Sorry, purchase... It's not pre-purchase. Purchase pre-built assets, um, character models, uh, you know, map layouts, um, you know, building designs, that kind of thing. Uh, but instead of altering them or putting them together in, you know, uh, creative ways, just buy them and then try to resell them as they are as a uh, as a product on Steam. Steam being particularly, uh, say, I'd say vulnerable, but I think apathetic is perhaps a bit of better description, particularly apathetic to the plights of, uh, you know, its customers who just want to play a good game, like this one, but instead have to wade through admittedly cheap but creatively bankrupt bollocks. Um, I think the most commonly used uh, asset flip, it's a pack by the name of Unit Z. I assume it's American, but it might be Unit Z if they actually know how languages work. Um, joke at the expense of uh, America there. Get used to that. I, I don't like the fact that they use Z as a thing. Anyway, not important. We'll, I'll discuss my um, language-based racism later. Um, but yeah, it's basically a sort of Minecraft zombie kind of thing. Um, and yeah, lots of people would just buy it, or possibly even pirate it, so they're not even paying the original creators for it in the first place, um, and then just sell it on Steam, claiming it's, it's a new game, when it isn't. It's Unit Z. Seriously, what the hell am I supposed to do with this thing? I'm sort of wandering around problem solving, not actually assessing what the problems are in the first place. But, uh... I don't know if red is one, let's not connect that to the That to here. I wonder if there's one of those things where you've got to do this huge... Go this, go on a big circle. And in the end, you are able to cut out the middleman, maybe. So now I'm back over here. Oh, for the love of buggery. 
That's the deception. You bastard game. Okay, I am dreadfully sorry for all of that. I have been running around here like a mad, but my timer says I've been doing this for 50, 50, five zero minutes. Because of the deception, hence the, which is the title of the, uh, the level, which I may or may not have read out before. The deception is that you can use your lasers to get round to where I've been going to and try to figure out how to get through that last bit. Except you don't do that, do you? You take the laser back through the gates you've all, the few gates you've already got open. Ignore that one little spark. In doing so, I can close the last little piece. Take that, you sodding level. Thou shalt not defeat the Dark Lord. The Dark Lord does not do failure. He does, however, do very long bloody fun arounds achieving next to nothing. So, thank you for watching, guys. I apologise for that. I have no idea how I'm going to edit that into something watchable, so that's going to be fun later. Um, I imagine it'll probably involve March of the Spoons, because 90% of the stuff I do uh, does that. Okay. Bye.